I'm giving away the Gator Air Jordan 6s. Okay, no, nah, I'm just playing. But really, actually, I'm going to give you guys a nice review of this shoe because I recently added these to my collection and I love these things. Ooh. What? Look at this. I got these in 13. Okay. Gators, baby. Wait a minute. Gator 1s, Gator 5s. Should we do one or both? There's no limit. We said so, no limit. Hold on to this. I got one more special gift for you. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is too much. It's too much? Not for you. We can't even touch you. Come on. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, uh, what you got? Don't care about the box. Don't worry about Don't the worry box. Don't worry about the box. Oh my <laughs> trifecta. <laughs> got all three. Now Just what? Hold on. Size 13. Hold on. Bruh, all right, usually in this situation, we're like, oh yeah, just get one. You know, it's good, we'll already figure it out. That's the whole set though. No. No? What am I supposed to do? Get all of them. <laughs> what do you say? Well, we said no limit. Like Jeezy said, no limit. What do you say? No limit. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, put this, can you yeah, 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 grab this yeah, stuff yeah, for yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I supposed Can't to drop do? These this, is, <laughs> this is yeah. Okay, is this what are we? How's the hoodie looking? Should we just maybe we should take the hoodie off the list? The my hoodie? <laughs> no. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if they got the hoodie in your size. Yeah. This might be. This is crazy. Oh, I can't even ask for how much. I just got to do it. That's what's crazy. Okay. All right. You, just ring us up. Just ring us up. Oh my gosh. What are we gonna do? We're gonna wear them. You're gonna wear these too? I might. I might do a little lemon pepper. Just know, if I find you in my PEs, it's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna be in them. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Now before we get into the studio and break down all the crazy details of this shoe, we gotta talk about the history first. Let's take it back to 1991. Michael Jordan was in pursuit of winning his first championship and the shoe that he was wearing, the Air Jordan 6s. And it went on to be one of the most iconic sneakers of all time. Well, at least in my opinion, because I love the Air Jordan 6s. Back in the 2018-19 season, Jordan Brand and Florida Gators announced that they're gonna be collaborating to become a Jordan Brand school, and they released the Air Jordan 4 Gators. Shortly after that, we saw the Air Jordan 1s, and then we saw the Jordan 5s, and then we saw the 6s. And if you haven't seen my previous review, I just showed the Air Jordan 1 low that came out this past year. So go check that out after you see this review. So now that you guys know a little bit more about this shoe and why we love it so much, let's go ahead and take it to the studio so we can break these things down. So as you guys have seen, this is definitely a very interesting sneaker and I'm excited to break down all the styles, cuts, materials, and details to this shoe because basically every aspect of this sneaker has a nice little twist or a nice premium hit on it. So like we do on this channel, as always, we start with the bottom of the shoe and work our way up. So let's go ahead and get started with the outsole. Looking right here, you got your classic Air Jordan 6 bottom. You got more of a sail color compared to a pure white. And then you have a cream colored pod on the back and the front end where the translucent areas typically are. Now looking on the side of the foot, you have that same sail color right here. And then the orange on the front end and the back end around the heel, sail around the toe, and then sail right here around the heel area of the foot as well. Now going up to the upper, this is definitely something that's different when it comes to Air Jordan 6s in particular. We've seen this on Jordan 1s. We know the Ama ones. Those are very similar to that. Or some people may think of the Lost and Found ones, how it kind of has that cracked, distressed leather. But this actually has a different feel. It's a lot more soft. I know I can't really show you that in the video, but these definitely do feel more buttery. I guess actually more waxy than anything when it comes to the material on the upper. So basically the entire shoe is covered with this blue distressed leather. And we also saw this on the other Air Jordan 6 PEs from the college pack. You guys seen this review in the past. I'll make sure I'll link for you guys down below in the description. But the Oklahoma 6s, same vibe when it comes to that. And then obviously you can tell with the color blocking. Yes, the school is different. The logos are different, but everything is essentially the same when it comes to these two shoes for the overall grand scheme of the concept of the shoe. Now, like I was just talking about on the other shoe, these ones have a Florida Gators Gator on the back end around the heel on both of the shoes. Typically, we see the Nike Air when it comes to more of an OG collaboration or even on the Florida Gators Air Jordan 5, you can see the Nike Air is on the back right here. But instead, they decided to put the Gators logo on the tongue and kind of switch it up a little bit. So on these in particular, you have the Gators logo on the back, the Gator logo right here on the bib, 
and they actually put the Nike Air on the insole of the shoe. Now these come standard with a pair of sail flat laces. You have a royal blue mesh just behind that. And then you have a suede patch right here around the center of the tongue with a chenille patch in the center of that. And it has your Florida Gators colors, the blue, the orange stitch, and then the chenille patch right here with the white. You got the 23 on the right foot, the jump man right here on the left foot. Another dope touch right here. You have the translucent milky tongue right here with the same materials that you see similar to the outsole, kind of matching that vibe. It's definitely not as yellow as the outsole, but there is a lot of similarities when it comes to those and even the back tab right here around the heel. Now looking at the sock liner, you got all royal blue here and royal blue mesh behind the tongue. And then on the insole, you have, it's kind of like a leather, but it's not, but it's like an all orange right here. And then like I was talking about earlier, the white Nike Air branding on the insole. Now I'm sure most of my OG saw me pick these up a while ago earlier in the year. I told you guys I'll give you a review. It took a little bit longer, but we're still making it happen. And I hope you guys are enjoying these photos and these in-hand shots to give you guys a little bit more detail and in-depth of this shoe. I'm excited to show you guys these type of sneakers because I was looking on the internet and I realized not that many people even have a review of the shoe. So I wanted to make sure that you guys had that here on the channel. And you guys know I love talking about PEs and samples and I have a full curated PE list. So again, I'll link that for you guys down below and at the end of the video. But before we leave, I gotta talk about whether people think this shoe is even fire or trash. Because I know when it comes to some PEs and you talk about the numbers and the prices and hey, this is a $4,500 shoe. And then people are like, I can't believe you're spending that much money on this shoe. I get it, I get it. But at the same time, we understand rarity and all the other factors as to why, like we talked about earlier, simply because this was made just for the athletes and the player staff. So it makes sense why it's a limited, you know, all the different factors. But I wanna see what you guys think. So I posted a poll on my story. If you guys haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. I asked a simple question. Is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? This is what they said. 83% of the people said fire and 17% of the people said trash. Now me, honestly, when it comes to the Air Jordan 6 college PEs, the whole set, these might be like top three for me. I think these are really, really clean. I was so excited to be able to add these to my collection. And I, just based off of how I've seen all the shoes, this one, yeah, I think it's top three. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Again, I have a full curated playlist full of PEs. And I'm actually gonna be shooting this video next, giving you guys an in-depth look at the Air Jordan 5 gator pe so stay tuned for that i'll make sure that's listed for you guys after this video at the end and uh yeah see y'all on another one i would never let you down so before you go i just launched my sneakerhead academy where we got everything on the inside i teach you all the stuff that i learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers scaling real estate you name it we talk about all of it in there and there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways i give away shoes literally way too much honestly but either way i'll see you guys on the inside hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comments section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy and I'll see you guys over there. Send my DNA, hey, the hey, only bro. choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. One one I would never let you down and send my DNA, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it, it's in the DNA. <laughs>